What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Awesomeo.com coming to you with my three picks for Yahoo tonight for Monday Night Football. That's the Indianapolis Colts, the Baltimore Ravens, Lamar Jackson, Carson Wentz. What could get better? But first, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button for me. And then also, if you haven't checked out Yahoo yet and you are a new user, if you haven't played over there before, get over there now, deposit $10 or more, and you will get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum completely on us. Uh, that's on the house. That's every sport we offer behind the paywall doesn't get a whole lot better than that. So if you want to check out all the DFS content that's waiting for you at Osmo, now's the time with Yahoo. Now, let's get some picks. For my first pick, and I hate to do this. I know you all know what's coming. If you've played DFS before whatsoever, you know what I'm about to say. We're playing Lamar Jackson in the superstar spot. I don't know how to get away with from Lamar Jackson whenever he is on showdown. I'm always overweight to him in this superstar spot. If you want to do anything, and I do mean anything else differently, in the superstar spot, you will be contrarian. So get that out of the way. But I've always found it a little bit more effective over the years playing this guy up top and figuring out the rest of my lineup later. Over on Yahoo, it's only an $11 difference between him and Jonathan Taylor. That's not enough of a gap to really make up the fantasy projection that we have at Osmo. 23.54 fantasy points. Jonathan Taylor, number two on the board at 15.04. I mean, that is an eight and a half point discrepancy. You don't run into that every single day when you're talking about raw projections. I mean, that's the difference between Devontae Adams and God, I, I, I don't even want to throw out a second receiver. Kadarius Tony, maybe not the version of yesterday, but I digress. Lamar Jackson on the season, we know his rushing upside that he has. He's already had 42 rushing attempts in four games. That's basically 10 per game and at a clip of 6.6 .6 yards per attempt. It's ridiculous the amount of work this guy is getting done on the ground, continuing to add to his rushing totals in the touchdown department as well with two of those already. Oh, and he's a decent enough passer too. His completion percentage is down a little bit from his career average, but it's up 8% from, uh, from, from last game. So I'm looking at 59.46. Uh, completion percentage there. He's thrown a touchdown in every single game. Three picks doesn't look great, but who really cares? We're looking for some massive fantasy output. There's no question about it. Lamar Jackson is the guy that we want to be relying on. For my second pick, and I kind of debated about this because there's some different builds that we can run into. You put Lamar Jackson in, and then it becomes immediately $18 per player. There's a lot of ways to kind of go about this. Marquise Brown makes a nice fit into lineups. Jonathan Taylor, I talked about here as well, but when Carson Wentz is at $22, the other quarterback in this game, I'm going to be going to him. You got to be expecting that Indianapolis is going to have to try to put up points to keep pace with Baltimore. And Baltimore's defense has been much more gettable over the course of this season. So Carson Wentz, it's a quarterback. We know that their projections are going to flatten out over a long period of time. Three games so far of 17 plus fantasy points over on Yahoo so far. And then Jonathan Taylor, the difference between him and Carson Wentz is just not that large. 0 0.04 fantasy points in the projection department. I think because Jonathan Taylor is a little bit more expensive, a lot of people go over there, click on the next guy, being like, oh, well, he's automatically gonna have more fantasy points. I don't think that's the case. Plus, if I wanna build around Lamar Jackson, I'm gonna also have some builds where I don't play pass catchers on the Baltimore side. And that makes me want to really look at Indianapolis in a come from behind game script, Carson Wentz at the helm. It doesn't feel great, but I think he's my second favorite play on the board. And to round it all out, if we're going to play Carson Wentz, if he's going to put up fantasy points, he's got to throw it to somebody. And because of the, the way that the salaries break down on Yahoo today, I think it's pretty darn easy to play him alongside, I believe his number one wide receiver, Michael Pittman. Michael Pittman over the course of this season, He's been consistent, but really it comes down to him being a target hog. 12 targets twice in four games so far this season. Eight and one, four in the other. We're going to write off that 4-1 as an outlier. But when given the ball in space, when given the ball over the top, this guy can be really effective. There's a 46 total on this game. Baltimore's favored by seven. Everything's pointing to them having to come from behind or trying to just keep pace with this Baltimore team. No way around it. Michael Pittman makes a lot of sense for me. You don't have to get crazy different. Sure, if Mo Alley Cox decides to catch a touchdown in this one, all the way down at $13, or Jack Doyle at $15, Naheem Hines, $16, I think will be a very popular play on Yahoo. They all make a lot of sense to pair with Carson Wentz, but 
I'm going to rely on his number one pass catcher in Michael Pittman. Just take me or just give me the targets here and let me move on with my day. So he's my last pick on the board. And those are my three picks on the board. We got Lamar Jackson up in the superstar spot. Shocker. Carson Wentz in the flex. Michael Pittman alongside him. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. If there's something you disagree with. If there's a player that you're just convinced. If this is Naheem Hines, Knight's, uh, Naheem Hines Knight, let me know. I'm really looking forward to this game. It should be pretty ugly, but uh, Lamar Jackson's always entertaining. Enjoy it. Best of luck. And do not forget to check out that one free month of Awesome Plus Platinum that you get with your first deposit over at Yahoo as a new user. Best of luck tonight.